So it is that Emily is the story of a loner with smarts and a great turn of phrase who was misunderstood. Five, four, three, two, one. Cue music. This is Movies First with Alex First. Tense throughout, Emily is a fictitious account of lauded 19th century writer and poet Emily Bronte. She was responsible for Wuthering Heights. It's a role filled by Emma Mackey. As a youngster, Emily enjoyed making up stories. Considered odd and deviating from the norm, her mind worked differently to others. While comfortable in the company of family, she struggled in outside settings. Her father Patrick, Adrian Dunbar, the local priest, was a disciplinarian who expected much of his offspring, although that wasn't always delivered. The arrival of a young vicar in the parish, William Waitman, Oliver Jackson Cohen, saw tensions rise, with Emily drawn to him. He gave her French lessons, and he to her. She was also being led astray by her layabout brother Branwell, Fionn Whitehead. All the while, the one constant was Emily's fertile imagination and poetic bent, recognised by all who chanced upon her prose. So it is that Emily is the story of a loner with smarts and a great turn of phrase who was misunderstood. Australian actress turned writer and director Frances O'Connor has woven a compelling tale. I was drawn in and held tight throughout the 130 minutes that the film runs for. Emily Mackey impresses in the lead role. There's an intensity about her. She plays Emily as reflective, passionate and not afraid to speak her mind. Oliver Jackson Cohen is God-fearing and lustful as William Waitman. Fionn Whitehead readily slips into the persona of Emily's beloved but wayward brother, Branwell. He's a character prone to weakness and excess. Alexandra Dowling channels a goody two-shoes as Sister Charlotte. Adrian Dunbar bears a stiff upper lip as their preacher father, Patrick. I appreciated the period detail and wild outdoor settings captured by the cinematographer Nanu Siegel. Composer Abel Korzanoyski's score serves to heighten the moments of tension and desire. Emily shows life is hardly easy for Emily Bronte, a woman who didn't conveniently fit society's norms. It's a movie well worth seeing, and it scores an 8 out of 10. You've been listening to Movies First with Alex First. Available at Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio or your favourite podcast player. You can also stream on demand at Bytes.com. This has been another quality podcast production from Bytes.com.